case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In a significant case from 1984, the United States Court of Appeals for the District of Columbia Circuit reviewed two orders from the Board of Governors of the Federal Reserve System. The legal battle was ignited by the board's approval of banking giant. Citicorp's plan to establish a subsidiary for data processing and transmission services, as well as introduce changes to certain parts of Regulation Y. These decisions were contested in court by the Association of Data Processing Service Organizations, ADAPSO, and two of its members, arguing the orders lacked substantial evidential support. The lawsuit led to critical discussions on the threshold of evidence necessary to validate the board's decisions. In particular, the court was tasked with considering whether the board properly applied the substantial evidence test and whether their interpretation on the definition of closely related activities was appropriate within the banking and financial sector. In its ruling, the court vindicated the board's decisions, declaring them to be in line with the requirements set by the Administrative Procedure Act, APA. The court underscored that the governing statute provided the board with substantial discretion, especially in relation to overseeing technological advancements within the banking industry. Not only did the court uphold the board's decision, but it also commended its efforts in confronting the challenges that come with regulating evolving technological advances. The court rejected all objections raised by the petitioners, recognizing the board's consistent and reasonable application of the statutory standard. This ruling marked a significant precedent, setting course for future cases in the intersection of banking, technology, and regulatory discretion. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.